thank you for coming again guys thank you for subscribing for my older subscribers thank you for coming let's go make cheesecake guys we starting this cheesecake from scratch all right so stick around and see how it's being done all right so first what we're gonna do is to place our crackers into a bag use a rolling pin and just crush it you can also do this method in a food processor and make sure it's all you know mashed up once it's done pour it into a bowl and add some melted butter mix it well until it looks like wet sand now I'm not going to be using a spring form pan I'm going to use my normal dish to do this pour it into the dish use the bottom of a glass and just press it until it is well compact all right you want it to be mash down a whole lot as we would say then pop it into the refrigerator and let it sit until you're finished with the pie filling all right so now for the filling i'm going to add two slabs of cream cheese you can use any type of cream cheese that's okay into here add quarter cup of granulated sugar two eggs you want to add one tablespoon of lemon juice you also want to add one tablespoon of vanilla essence and of course a pinch of salt at this time you want to use a paddle attachment and you want to mix this for five long minutes in between mixing you need to stop guys and you need to scrape the sides of the pan also scrape the bottom of the pan making sure that there are no cream cheese and sugar stick to the bottom of the pan so we're gonna scrape it down like this and this cheesecake recipe is so simple it is so easy to put together all right so you need to give this a try so once I'm done scraping I'm going to mix again making sure that all the sugar grains are dissolved so once it's done, I'm going to remove the pie crust from the refrigerator and pour this goodness right over this crust. Look at how smooth, creamy, and rich this is, guys. Once it's done, I'm going to take the spatula and just pop those little bubbles that you're seeing there. Make sure you get rid of them and then place the container into a baking tray. Now you want to add some boiling water into the tray and this is baking it in a water bath all right add like three to four inches of water and just put it into a 275 oven and let it bake for 35 minutes do not open the oven door while baking and this is what my cheesecake looks like so once you take it out make sure it's cool then pop it into the refrigerator let it sit for an hour or two or even overnight is better so i did leave my cheesecake overnight and it's time to cut it all right this is a rich and sweet dessert and the texture can vary greatly from light and airy to dense and rich to smooth and creamy depending on the ingredients and the mixing method used so give it a try and enjoy leave me a comment and also stick around for many more simple easy recipes